I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. The Northmen tell this story. Black and white. Darkness and light. Now the dividing lines of our own making. They don't want to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the world to cut our stretching away from the clear. And then we'll explore new paths into the no. Spalder's mother. Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Balder's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe. A ghost of the gods is there, throwing things at Balser. The blind god, Hood, was there. Loki asks why he wasn't taking part. Hood says, I cannot see. Where Balder stands, the Northmen tell how the gods mourn. Balder. His body was to be burned on his ship, but he could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giant to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Balder's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rulers burst into flames. When Balder's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her. Overcome with grief. The gods send Hela to ride to hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping. Are they? asked Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything left. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he... That of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. 
to reality. What if this what is tearing at her soul? What are you doing? Dillian never much cared for the underworld and looked dimly upon the druids like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world thing. You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what? <laughs> 